Hi there, and welcome to the Policy Scholar Show. Today we have two very special guests in San Francisco. Bill Tan is actually a junior at Buena Vista High, and we also have Aria Lopez, who is a sophomore at State University. Both of these students are actively involved in helping you, the voter, vote yes on Prop E. Prop E is on the ballot in November, November 3rd, 2015, and it is an initiative that will bring live streaming to the public. So to begin with, we're going to ask the question of Bill, how he decided to get involved. I got involved in this initiative very excitingly. Um, at first, it was uh, one of the most first time I have ever got into the government and the politics. Um, I got involved with writing the initiative, start with that. Uh, it, we went through a lot of process. We go to City Hall, we participated. Uh, we had to wait until a lo wait a long time for this to get through. And then we also collected a lot of signature, which is 17,000 signature um, in San Francisco. Um, later, we, uh, I organized and I helped organize David Lee, uh, our, our professor, uh, to organize many campaigns um, to help the citizens of San Francisco to know more about the Prop E. So I understand then that you had to write up the initiative and then you had to go to the voters and you had to have them agree with this initiative and that you had so many people that were agreeing to sign to get it on the ballot that it was done very, very quickly. Is that correct? Yes. Um, voters who have a strong opinion, I mean, this would be great uh, to get voters to voice their opinion and have, you know, the chance and the opportunity to weigh in and express their opinion about meetings that are held from City Hall. And I understand that uh, there is also part of this initiative, and this is a really big deal, is that it's going to be live stream. So, Bill, can you tell us a little bit about how that's going to work? So, live streaming um, the City Hall meetings is basically um, putting recording, not a recording, but recording at the same time. You can watch at home, on your phones, laptop, anywhere, using your technology, your phone, your laptop, stuff like that. Um, you can just watch it. You don't have to go to the city hall, which may be a lot of traffic, waste a lot of your time, and maybe it's in the work day. So it saves you your, a lot of time and work. And can you, Araya, tell us about the segment that is the virtual or the remote participation for the resident of San Francisco? Sure. Remote presentation allows and adds on to the, the commons area where participants can voice their opinion and you can do that while on, while surfing the internet, while on your phone, while on your laptop and you can write and comment on things that are happening live. So in other words, this initiative is going to give everyone a chance to participate in local government. Yes. That's correct. Right. And uh, how many of the commissions right now are televised? Do you remember, Aria? Um, there are many commissions that are televised, but mostly important ones, um, such as the Sunshine, um, sometimes are not. And so this, this allows for those ballots and those, ev those meetings to be recorded and to be live streamed and available to everybody who would want to see them. So, Bill, I uh, understand that the large commissions, such as the police and fire commission, the port commission, those are not televised right now, and that this would then enable people to be able to participate, for example, with the police commission? Uh, that's true. 
Uh, right now, we only have about 30 out of 130 of the committees that's been recorded uh, and televised. Uh, through our Prop E, uh, we allow the access to all the committees live stream online. So you don't have to uh, worry about, you can go watch some like a minor one, more, more uh, easily you can just watch all of them. You have access to everything. And Aria, could you tell us how you decided that you were going to go ahead and get involved with this initiative? Sure. So in this, so I am in the fall semester, um, and I decided to get involved because Prop E allows for a lot of SF citizens to be involved in knowing what's going on in the local government. And so my part, I will express my enthusiasm about this prop and try to get more citizens involved in local government because when everybody is, this becomes a more informed city and they can make informed decisions on what's happening locally in their government. And how about you, Bill? Can you tell us how you decided to get involved with this initiative? Um, I getting involved in this in Prop E because I see this as a uh, really tax savvy especially we live in San Francisco, the epicenter of the technology. Uh, allowing this access uh, can be an um, example for, the, uh, for San Francisco to become more popular, and people would love that, and is easy access to the um, voters, the citizens. No matter what, it's a benefit. It's definitely a benefit. And I understand that David Lee is actually your professor, and Aria, you're on an online class, and Bill, you're an intern with the class, so th this isn't virtual reality here. This is, you're in the class with him. Yes. But you're online with, the, with uh, the professor and the class, and it's a mandatory class for your degree, which is in criminal justice. Yes. So how is it that you decided that this was just going to be the right class for you? Um, David Lee really involves his class and the participation of local government. Um, without this class, I probably would not have been so involved in what is going on, what is taking place right now. And so in order um, for me to express my gratitude, I wholeheartedly participate in this initiative. And how about you, Bill? Is there something that reminded you of, of, of how important it was to get involved politically and in government that caused you as a junior mm -hmm. in uh, high school to volunteer to work with David. Can you tell us about that? Uh, yes. Um, the first time I um, get the idea to meet with David Lee, my prof, uh, um, my pro professor, and we w start working on this pro uh, Prop E. The idea was really exciting to me because. Um, because I've never been getting involved into government and political, and I feel like this is something I can, I'm capable of doing it. And my enthusiastic, enthusiasm was Dave, uh, David Lee. Uh, we just came up together to work on this project, and I think this will work, and I profoundly loved it. And I also understand that there's no organized opposition to this initiative, and that you have had People like the mayor, Ed Lee, on one of the television stations say that he's in support of this. And now both of you are responsible for assisting in getting this passed. So can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing to make sure that the message gets out? Aria, you want to start? Sure. Um, so I will take part in going out into the community and speaking in groups and getting everybody involved and getting everybody talking about the new, the Proposition E. Um, in order for it to be passed, um, it's pretty simple. It is a win-win. Um, nobody loses. Everybody is informed. Nobody loses when anybody is informed in their local government and what's happening. And how about you, Bill? Uh, I help organize a campaign. Um, we walk on the street, tell people what's going on, we pass out posters, flyers. So uh, in general, we're just letting people know more about it. We're getting close to the voters, especially the voters in, uh, city, uh, in San Francisco. Uh, we hope everybody understand what is Prop E and what's the benefit of it, um, and let them understand that to 
uh, vote yes on property was a definitely a great choice for them to participate in the politics of San Francisco. And I understand that both of you are having a lot of fun with this initiative, and you also put together a commercial. So let's hear about how you put the commercial together. Um, so yes, we do have a commercial uh, which is coming out um, maybe next month, maybe this month actually. Um, so we're gonna ha this commercial is all about to letting people to know what's going, what's Prop E, and in, in order to put up with Prop uh, this commercial. Uh, we have many uh, volunteer students from Professor Lee's online classes, and with the help with other um, camera um, pro uh, prof uh, professionals, and uh, we just formed this commercial to help everybody to understand what's the property. And so this commercial is going to air on television, and you're also here participating on Channel 29 Public Access Television. And this will also go out to the viewers, and they'll be able to participate by seeing this. And I also upload the show on YouTube so that you can also reach more viewers. And that's part of the whole issue around getting the message out. Now, when you decided to get into this class with the professor, did you have in mind that you were already interested in politics? Or were you considering taking this class because it was mandatory? Or was there a reason and, and was there a, a trigger that, that enabled you to want to take these classes? You answer first, Aria? Yes. I think there definitely is a trigger, a passion um, you have to have to get really involved in making a change. And this is exactly what it is, a change for local government. It brings it into the, the vast technology era that we live in now. Um, in order to have all of these meetings streamed online, it just betters our city, updates it, um, keeps it current, and it's just a really great proposition to- Getting people to, a lot of people to access to the REM board, to the uh, youth commissioned. Um, as always, I would always um, devote my time and my energy to help to support the Prop E and further instruction um, with the help with the REM boards and commissions. Now let's talk a little bit more about the remote aspect of this, although I like to call it virtual. In other words, you can be at home and you can testify in front of the committee and they will televise it, and it's just as if you were there. So, for example, if you were going to do this for the Youth Commission, would that then mean there'd be more participation from young people like yourself? Yes, uh, with virtual, <laughs> with virtual um, comments, you can you know, leave room for the person who might sit in the back if they went to City Hall and not voice their opinion. They can leave a tip or a comment on what they see needs change or doesn't need change. Um, and if we have those comments, everyone could benefit from seeing what's around them. And we can definitely make a change that is suitable for everyone. And then there's another aspect, too, that Professor Lee was talking about. And that is, it was called, uh, in other words, if the meeting is going to start at 2 o'clock and enough people emailed and said they wanted the meeting to start at 2 o'clock, that that meeting would have to start at 2 o'clock. That was, uh, what does he refer to it it's as? It's a time certain. Time certain. Yeah, oh, there's true. those two magic words. Time certain things. Yes. Well, for City Hall, that would be a real anomaly. It would be, <laughs> it, because very often you go to a committee hearing and they're behind schedule mm -hmm. or one of the uh, members isn't there yet, so they have to wait for there to be a quorum. And then... Sometimes the meetings go till 10 o'clock at night. So it's, it's uh, a very good initiative that should pass for us to be able to participate in City Hall without having to spend the time to go there, find parking, get daycare. So it's a very, very good initiative. Now, were there any surprises either of you had when you began working with Professor Lee on this initiative? Uh, yes. 
uh, I remember the first time I went to the city hall. I first time I participate in a city hall meeting. Um, the meeting was supposed to start at 9 a.m. at the morning. So me and Professor Lee and some other people arrived at that time. However, our item was not been talked until 4 p.m. afternoon. Four o'clock? Yes. A meeting that was supposed to start at nine o'clock, it didn't actually happen until four. Which commission hearing was that? Oh, it was not the... It was an advisory It was our committee? item. Our item was not heard oh, until four. Oh, it was your own item. It yes. was this item. Yes. So are you talking about the Board of Supervisors meeting? The simplification. The simplification yes. committee hearing. Okay. So that was made up of Board of Supervisors members. Mm -hmm. Ballot Simplification Committee is called, right? That's right. That's there correct. you go. Okay. Yes. And how about you, Maria? Did you have any surprises that you want to share with us? Um, I'm sure that there will be surprises. I am the front runner, and I will, you know, be out in the community and voicing my opinion and getting everybody involved in this, so there's bound to be. <laughs> <laughs> but so far, so far, so, so good. <laughs> so far, it's great. That's wonderful. So if somebody wants to get involved with this particular initiative, why don't you share with the viewers a couple of things that they can do to work with you. Start with you, Bill. Uh, as always, we want voters to vote yes on our Prop E in the upcoming uh, voting season. And we can you can also check out our Twitter, which is hashtag uh, SF for open, uh, SF open government. And we also have a Facebook page. We can just like on it, check out what's going on. And I hope you all understand what it is and the beneficial of it. And how about you, Aria? Do you have any tips for the viewers to yes. perhaps work with you? <laughs> yes, definitely work on voting yes and spreading the word to friends and family and everyone who cares about being informed about the local city matters and just spread the word. So my next question is going to be whether or not when you first began this class with Professor Lee, you were already involved politically in some other aspect? Bill? Uh, like I said before, it wasn't the first time I ever got involved with politics, but first time it was the best. I loved it. And so the um, organization that is actually supporting this is the Chinese Voters Education Committee. Mm -hmm. And I know from my background here in San Francisco, that this is one of the first early committees that assists people in registering to vote, getting the information, particularly in the Chinese American community. Mm -hmm. And Aria, you're a Latina, correct? Mm -hmm. And have you had any experience in voter registration before? No, not until this particular proposition, um, but this won't be my last. I hope to you know, voice my opinion more on matters that pertain to me. And so what did your parents say, both of you, when you started to get involved in this initiative? Uh, Bill? They like to see more polit uh, uh, political transparency. And they want, to, they, they want to know what's going on in the government, in the city hall. They don't want to be just blind. Because uh, we, as we always, we know that there are people who go to city hall is actually the professional lobbyist. Um, so we don't see much going on. We don't have like we need. We want more participation into the government, uh, and my parents was always supportive of this initiative that because this helps more transparency and helps the uh, participation of the citizens. And how about when you were out um, getting the signatures from the residents? Did you get any questions while you were doing the signature raising? Uh, yes. Um, I got a question like, what is Prop E? So I have to explain them. But so I would love to do that because I just want people to know what is Prop E. And sometimes they they su really supportive about Prop E is that so they do, so there are people in the city actually care about what's going on in the government. And because they have, they, they live on the edge because they have to work there um, to, to support themselves, to support their family. So having this Prop E passed was going to be a, uh, fantastic move for those people who um, who work hard, study hard, and who also want to participate in the city government. And how about you, Aria? Yes, uh, my parents are very proud and excited that 
I could be a part of something um, worthwhile and really is um, a different change for San Francisco and its government. And do you expect that with this initiative that you may be able to participate more in, in commissions? So which commission in particular are you interested in? Um, I would really be interested in the uh, Youth uh, Commission, which takes care of the um, ourselves. Yeah, that's why I was really into this. And I think um, as a student, and even I'm a high school or uh, as you are the college students, we should supposed to um, get involved with the Youth Commission to know what's going on. And I also think there are many um, people out there who really uh, focus on the rent board because that's going to be um, their main issue in San Francisco. And we hope um, issue can be uh, solved with the um, participation of the citizens. That's wonderful. I think that both of you are fine role models for a, a lot of the young people in San Francisco to begin to get involved with the political process. And this was not a small feat, what you accomplished. I have to commend both of you for this because getting together an initiative, going and getting signatures out in the, in the world from, from people you've never met before and getting it through the process to get onto the initiative, it's a big deal. It's a really, really big deal. And so I want to congratulate both of you in your participation and would just like to ask you a couple of more questions, something more or less along the same lines of, of the political questions, but um, having to do with your own backgrounds and with your own participation from your family members. Did your other family members say, oh, I'm going to go out and help you get signatures, for example? Uh, my, my dad was, really, uh, was very supportive of this initiative. Um, he even he donated uh, some money to the organization to support this um, initiative, and you can see there there's an enthusiasm in my family in this Prop E. So I hope more people coming and joining and spread the words out of it. It's gonna be a great. And how about you, Aria? Uh, my parents are definitely excited and happy. Um, however, they live out of San Francisco. Um, but it just goes to show that families outside of San Francisco are affected about what happens here and everything that goes on in the city does have an effect on outside participants. Of course, because you're here living and going to school yes. in San Francisco. Yes. But your parents actually live in the East Bay or something? Uh, north, north, north of the Golden Gate Bridge. North of Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah. So there you go. So once again, you are watching the Paula Fiscal Show. My motto is keeping you informed. Please watch the show on Sunday afternoons at 3 o'clock p.m. And if you're not able to watch the show directly on Channel 29, look for it on YouTube, the Paula Fiscal Show. This one will be very interesting for you in particular. So watch for the Prop E Say, vote yes on Prop E. There were a couple of, of other comments that were necessary to be mentioned, and that is whether or not this initiative is going to cost San Francisco money. Actually, it's not going to cost much more money than San Francisco spends on a lot of items in San Francisco to get the word out. The ballots that are put out are stacks and stacks and stacks. The committee hearings and the commission hearings that take place in San Francisco take up a lot of the important issues that are going on in San Francisco. So this initiative is very, very important. And to have a, a couple of young people here to talk about it and to have actually worked on setting it up, getting the signatures, getting the putting a commercial together, this is very, very good on our young people. So when you're wondering what our young people are up to, you can take a look at this show and they will tell you that you should vote for Prop E in the November 3rd, 2015 election. And we're going to
close by giving each one of our students an opportunity to have some closing remarks. So Bill, you go ahead and start. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the show and thank you to Paula um, to allow us to participate in this show. Um, uh, none of the more stuff is that we hope people just vote yes on the property. It's going to be beneficial. Aria? Yes. Uh, I just want to say thank you for having me here, Paula, and um, to every viewer. I, again, hope you vote yes, and in the future, I hope everyone is more informed because of this proposition. Thank you so much for joining us. Once again, you are watching the Paula Fiscal Show, keeping you informed. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.